the Lord is the strength of his people, a saving refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage, and govern them forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning.
corpses of your servants as food to the birds of heaven, the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O Lord, how long? Will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past, and your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Depart from me, you, you evildoers. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his rock house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. But it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus knew that the scribes and the Pharisees were fond of giving lip service, but not actually putting their words into action. And in fact, he upbraids them for uh, elsewhere, he, he, when chastising them, he says, You heap up heavy burdens on people, but don't lift a finger uh, to lighten their load. And so, our Lord puts a strong emphasis on doing, right? See, our Lord says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, right? And then again, Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Right? Uh, did we not drive out demons, do mighty deeds? But what does he say to those who do listen? The ones who built their house solidly on rock, what does he say to them? 
Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them, right? It's this action. And then he, get, then is, then he says, and everyone who listens to these words of mine but, but does not act on them is like the fool, like a fool who built his house on sand. And so our Lord is calling us uh, to put our bodies behind our words, right? To do the, the loving deed, right? To engage of, in not just the spiritual works of mercy, but the physical, the tangible works of mercy, the corporal works of mercy. And so our Lord wants us to um, be integral with ourselves, right? To have our, 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 our mind, our heart, and our body all on the same page, all doing the same thing, right? They're giving physical expression uh, to what's in our hearts. And that's why we, as Catholics, are known for being a very earthy, intangible people, right? We appreciate the physical things in this world, but then we should also be sensitive to the physical suffering of uh, other people in the world. And so I just encourage you to continue to open your heart to the Lord and ask the Lord uh, to help you, to inspire you, to strengthen you, to motivate you, uh, to be part of the people who truly put uh, our words into action. Ask the Lord to inspire you uh, to engage in, in, in works of mercy. Now, praying for those who suffer, that is a work of mercy, right? It doesn't always have to be a physical and tangible work of mercy uh, to, uh, to, to, to help w with others. Uh, otherwise, we know that people who are bedridden, those who are under quarantine, those who just simply, because maybe, maybe because of age or illness, don't have the physical strength or mobility, um, they can still put their bodies uh, behind it, right? We can still pick up our rosaries. We can still pick up the phone. We can do things that help us to, to reach out to others. So I simply encourage you um, uh, to be outward looking with your spirituality, looking for those who need encouragement, those who need strength, those who need ministry. Um, and then don't worry about the rest. Know that the Lord knows what's in your heart. If you inspire the Lord, if you ask the Lord, I'm, I should say if you're inspired to ask the Lord to direct your heart, he will direct it. He will inspire you. Uh, he will help you to be people uh, who, are, who are integral, who have integrated and merged our, our, our inward spiritual life uh, and the outward life of physical, uh, spiritual, uh, tangible ministry. So just continue to trust in the Lord. My friends, let us be with sincere and trusting hearts turn to our Lord with these our prayers and petitions. And so we pray for the church, the body of Christ. May the Lord's call to deeper conversion bear fruit in our hearts and in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those in elected or appointed government positions. May the Lord guide their decision making in accordance with the common good, but with also with respect for human dignity, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those who have been displaced from their homes due to war, violence, uh, flood, famine, food scarcity. May the Lord give them hope and a safe haven. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for members of our, faith, of our families and faith community. May the Lord help, the, help us to continue to grow in charity and hospitality. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those working in the medical, medical professions, those especially working with those who are suffering from this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for an end to racism and other forms of discrimination that we may open our hearts and see the true dignity of all humans. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Let us pray for all the souls in purgatory, especially those who do not have anyone to pray for them. And for all those who have died, may the Father welcome them into his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, listen to the prayers of your people, which we bring to you with in trusting that you will answer them accordance, in accordance with your holy and divine will. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a pure of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest his, the resurrection. And so, with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
He took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On his day, he told his baker, Tom Hunty, he's a very nobis. On his day, he told his baker, Tom Hunty, don't know his father. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.